Before adding a drop shadow to a piece of clothing in Adobe Photoshop, it is often best to isolate just the clothing from the original image and place it into a transparent background. This video tutorial explains how to manage these techniques using Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. Most of the steps are also relevant to previous versions of Photoshop. Step 1. Opening the image in Photoshop. Activate the program Adobe Photoshop, then open the image you are wanting to work with by clicking the File drop-down menu, the Open button, and search for where you stored the image. When you've found the file, double-click it, or click the Open button. Step 2. Duplicate the image. It is usually wise to make a copy of your original image by selecting the Image drop-down menu and clicking Duplicate. When the Duplicate image window appears, click OK. You should now have two copies of the image and you can navigate between them using the tabs near the top of the screen. Step 3. Separating the image from its background. This involves the following steps. 3a. Make sure you are working with the duplicated version of your image, not the original. Then activate the Quick Selection tool, which is the fourth tool from the top in the Photoshop tool palette. Then use the cursor to select all of the clothing by clicking through all the different regions of the garment until the marching ants isolate the clothing from the background. If the background is a similar colour to the garment, you may find that the magnetic lasso tool or just the lasso tool may be a better option for isolating the clothing. Step 3b. Select the Edit drop-down menu, then Copy. Step 3C. Select the File drop-down menu, then New. Step 3D. Make sure the Transparent option is selected under Background Contents, then click Create. A transparent canvas, the same size as your image, should appear. Step 3E. Click the Edit drop-down menu and the Paste option. If a Paste Profile Mismatch window appears, then click OK. The garment you selected and copied should then fit inside the transparent canvas. Step 4. Transforming the image size. Before adding the drop shadow effect, you can use the free transform tool to make the garment slightly smaller so the shadow stands out. This involves the following steps. 4a. Click the Edit drop-down menu, then the Free Transform tool. Hold down the Shift key and click and hold and drag one of the corner handle boxes until the garment is slightly reduced in size then click the Enter key. If you don't hold the Shift key, the image may not stay in its normal size proportion. Step 5. Adding the drop shadow. Step 5a. Click the FX button at the bottom right of the screen, then select the drop shadow option. Step 5b. Use the tools on the drop shadow layer style to adjust the opacity, angle and distance from the image you would like the shadow to appear. Change the opacity of the shadow with this slide bar. Adjust the angle of the shadow with this tool. Control the distance the shadow is away from the garment with this slide bar. You can also control the spread and the size of the shadow with these tools. When you're finished, click OK. Step 6. Save your image. 6a. To save your image and maintain the transparency, 
Click the File drop-down menu, then the Save As option. Use the Save As window to name your file. Point it to save in an appropriate location. And change the format to PNG to maintain the transparent background. If you don't require a transparent background, you can save the image as a JPEG. Once you have named the file, chosen a location to save it, and given it an appropriate format, click the Save button. If the PNG Options window appears, click OK.